you are listening to the Starter Girls podcast with Jennifer Loading, where extraordinary decisions produce extraordinary results. These are my friends, these are your friends, and they are living the extraordinary. This episode is brought to you by Walt Mills Photographer of Glad Models Agency. If you are here in the Dallas or surrounding area and looking for some photography work, check out Walt Mills. Mm -hmm. You can learn more about him at photosbywalt.com. All right, today is a great day to be brave. You might as well start now. You have the power to change your circumstances any day you decide. Let today be that day. Rise up, be amazing, be you, do you. All right, I am super excited today because I have not one guest in the studio today. I have two. And this is so awesome because both of these guys have been on this show at one time or another in this last year. I just feel so motivated. Like Are you motivated? The initial, oh, like, hey. lead-in, I'm like... This is wow, this it's like the end of my about. day, and I feel like we're starting over, you know? It's starting like over yet again. Hey, this is <laughs> like what happens. Night shift, you know? This is what happens when you get around me. You're going to be all fired up. By the time you leave That's out of you guys are going to be ready to run a marathon. All right, so <laughs> I'm going to, yeah, so I've got Miss <laughs> Yulia Brown here, and uh, her tagline says, Russian roots never die. <laughs> So, Yuli, I'm going to have you in a minute tell them what you really do. This is our Spy Kids episode. Yeah, this is, this is, okay, so <laughs> I, I do want to say this to our listeners real I quick. Spy. This right. is our final episode of 2020. Anything goes today. We have been like pulling it all year with amazing guests. I have just, I have been so excited about everything that has been happening. We've got a big announcement coming up at the end of this, but this is our final episode. And I thought, you know what? We need to have fun on this one. Oh. We need to have a little oh. bit of fun. Final episode of the year. Yeah, final episode not of the year. final episode. No, yeah, final episode of 2020. You don't want to be like giving away stuff. No, 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 there. we're not, not, yeah. like, hey, this is it. Yeah, you we're know? not done. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, we have a lot more to do with Starter started, Girls. Right? That's right. We have a lot more to do with Starter Girls, but it is the final for 2020. And so on the end down there, we lost this little screen, and this is Scott Zimmerman, a.k.a. Zimmy. A.k.a. that guy. That guy with etches. So I'm going to let you guys kind of introduce yourself because I know you, but I'm going to let you guys talk a little bit and introduce yourself. Tell us what you really do because I, I like Yulia's little tagline up there. I have no idea what I do. Not you have no idea? <laughs> well, Russian roots never die. <laughs> we never die. We do everything and a little bit of everything. And this is kind of 2020, the last level of Jumanji, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> we will made it. 2021 is coming. Who knows yep. what it's got. Hopefully it's Jumanji 3 where there's not potentially another one coming next. Oh, we hope, know. right? Oh, Lord. Absolutely. Well, you, you do have a podcast. I do have a podcast. I am in the mortgage business. Um, not as fun as podcast, but it's definitely very enlightening and uh, fulfilling for me because I can get to do great things for wonderful people. And... Um, you mentioned Glad Marlin. I'm signed up with Glad Marlin as one of their models. Awesome. And uh, just living my life. And you're a karaoke queen. Well, you should see me <laughs> in the crown. <laughs> That's so awesome. That's so awesome. I think like the first night we met at a networking event, I went with you and i don't do karaoke i just watch everybody but i went with you because your husband runs the karaoke yes he does and that's where we went the, like the first night i met you i have was... scared you then then no you we're all lady. good <laughs> no. you would have scared the crap out of me i'll tell you that Oof. She, I, she's tough loud. i'm not a karaoke guy i don't even like going to watch you don't like to watch no because they'll just they, they drag you in Mm. Then you definitely they have to smell come. weakness and they try to pull They're you like, Scott, you definitely have to come. Oh. All right, Scott. So tell them what you do here because you're like the, the oh head, gosh, the head man like, at this studio. I've been like working on this all week and it's been terrible. So we do like everything really. So everything from promotional marketing to custom engraving to custom Cerakote to media production. To, you name it. If you are trying to find a place that's kind of a one-stop shop that could take everything from an event and take you from staging and lighting all the way up through putting gifts and t-shirts in people's hands. That's us. Wow. That's awesome. It, it's kind of, I'd say it's a nutshell, but even a coconut's not quite big enough to handle what we're doing over here. Coconut. And this is your studio. And this is our studio, Which is yes. the amazing studio because I will tell you, you know, the guys that, that I did on Pod uh, Podmax, the guys that mm -hmm. were on here that run, these are the guys that Vaynerchuk, Gary V, reached out to them because of what they're doing. Were they, they actually, jocking the studio? Uh-huh. Were they jocking the studio? Yes, because All one right. of them wrote me an email last <laughs> week and said the production 
was like really good on our podcast. Well, so, what did you expect? It's not yeah, like would you expect something? It's not mediocre? like you're using some crack pod <laughs> yeah. studio in some weird right. automotive business park or anything like that. I mean, it's we're like, not in a little room high stuff, in you know? here, right? <laughs> but no, they we got to I mean, everybody that has looked at the podcast, the Starter Girls podcast, has been thoroughly impressed with the, the setup, the production, all of it. So, I you know, this studio is amazing. So, I say kudos for an awesome studio and setup. And it looks like a Russian space station over there. Is <laughs> Can they yeah. take that much wood up to the space station in Russia? I'm pretty sure. You put the challenge in front of Putin, he'll put some he'll wood. Put <laughs> Putin in the wood, whatever they we need to Tesla do. They have Tesla in space, might as well put some wood. I know, right? <laughs> this is so good. This is so good. We're going to have fun today. I told you, it's going to be like so a... So today from the Russian space station, a.k.a. the Studio Dallas. That's Sweet. right. Starter Girls. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Okay, so... We're going to mix the fun in here a little bit. And I'm going to have a little bit of serious because we got to have like some serious just a little bit because we just can't totally hijack Starter Girls podcast. Oh, all right, are we right. going to do the intro again? Is no, 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 no intro. I've already, no, hopefully I've already got you fired up. You're already, we're ready to go. Like, so by the time we're done here, we're going to be on the next, next like endeavor. Scott, and, but by the time we walk out of here, we'll be on another business plan. We'll be figuring out another uh, noodles to throw at the wall, right? right? 2020 no. will be hindsight. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's we'll all be, we've been waiting for. Exactly. Right. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Do you realize how many people five years ago sat out and they were like, we're going to have a 2020 plan for our business and everybody had this plan and not a damn person saw this coming. No and kidding. now we're on the not right? plan. For I'm just like, cracking oh up. my gosh, what are we doing? You, you know? guys, our studio Dallas has officially been renamed. <laughs> yes. And it's scrolling across the screen. Check it out. Sputnik 2. Damn. All right, hey, you know what? There we go. If we get the sponsorship, we'll do it. Yes, why not? Hey, hey, let's keep working. Well, the Russians are going to film the first movie filmed in space pretty soon. So they cast him right now as we speak. Very cool. Interesting. Very cool. Okay. So my first question, because I got to ask this one, I want, because we're all in different businesses. We're all doing different things mm -hmm. and working in diff with different people, kind of different sectors. And so in 2020 has been... I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say all what it really has been for us, but it's just been a freaking hot mess. Like I think we talked about this, Julie and I did earlier. We can just forget it. If we never have to hear any piece of it again, we would be fine, right? But what I want to talk about because this is kind of a, a an you know an entrepreneur mindset success podcast. Like I want to talk about how you guys have evolved in this during this time, just really navigated this. <coughs> And because I think all three of us have, we you know it would have been very easy when this all started for us to have just sat down and been like. I'm not gonna do anything <laughs> right and Scott started stuff in March I mean the, the support local thing mm -hmm. started a bunch of things Yulia has worked on stuff started her podcast around this time and then I've done a lot of things since then so I just want to hear from each of you like what has this been like for you this whole like just kind of rebirth well it's been quite an interesting year for me it started early on even before pandemic and that's when it, I realized that this year is going to be very special um really adjusting and um, I hate that word because it makes it kind of like drool and dumb mm -hmm. and, but in reality it's just it's been exciting it's just not your day in day out it's almost like a real computer game you walk out and you don't know what's going to be next you're like what do, I, do right. I need to do to pass this level the only thing is you don't get a redo and to do mm. the next thing you just have to okay well today I'm just going to pray and just do the best I know how and mm -hmm. it really tested our integrity in in my opinion and it's just I found more avenues to open up my creative side because working in a corporate world you can kind of locked in and you just do your nine to five and just hope you don't yell at your next co-worker and you know but when you have this freedom to do what you really love and this was the great opportunity. It's like, why not? I'm, I can sit there in my little nutshell and just <laughs> cry and feel pity for myself, or I can be just unraveling and peeling layer by layer and figure out what else can I do? Right. What's out there that I want to do the best? And honestly, business-wise, this has been best year yet. Wow. Yeah, and that's good. I, because in real estate, my husband is a realtor. I'm a mortgage broker. So... We do a lot of different things and people move, people change their homes, they refinance their houses to improve them because we never know. We might mm -hmm. spend even more time in our homes. So it's been a lot of reinventing and it's really self-discovery. Yeah, that's good. I love that. 
What would you say, Scott? That's a lot to follow up on. <laughs> <laughs> you got this. You got no, this. No, no. So, I mean, we, I think the word is pivot. Mm, right? That's a good word. I mean, you've yeah. got to, you got to be able to see the situation. You got to be able to pivot. And, you know, during the toilet paper crisis of 2020. Oh, my goodness. The toilet paper crisis. Does everybody remember that, right? Can yes. anybody explain to me why? I'll tell, I, <laughs> I just can't wait till VH1 in 10 years when we look back at it. It's going to be hilarious. But oh, still, you're right. right. Yes. Do people eat it, too? I mean, that's why I will find out. Like <laughs> toilet paper deficiency. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. That's Maybe. so good. I, mean, I, I was, like, trying to hopefully like, before smell the, it. Hopefully like, before they use it, they eat yeah. it. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Yes. Right? But, well, I smelled uh, it before. I yeah. Oh, but, my God. I mean, so during all that, we, yep. we, we saw the immediate, everyone retracting. Nobody knew what was going on. Dallas mm -hmm. was saying mandatory stay at home. You know, I remember, like, I feel like I'm old now. I remember back in March that, um, <laughs> back in March. Re remember there was some, you had to have a letter to travel around? You remember those yes. two weeks or yes. so? Yes. And I'm like, what the heck is all this? Yes. Like, I had people calling, can you make me a fake thing? And I'm right. like, what? Like. Yeah, they, they can't arrest everybody. Right, right. And they're gonna put us in jail and infect each other. You know, this is That's ridiculous. That's a great marketing campaign. I'll get you a free COVID letter. <laughs> exactly, right? <laughs> Let's do this. You got to pivot. You know, you got to be on it. Yes, yes. So, uh, so we decided to start a, a local organization called Support Local Texas, and we, we sat back and looked from the perimeter, and we said, okay, supply has been completely consumed. Now all these people have surplus. You can only wipe so much butt, right? <laughs> I mean, let's be realistic. There's only so much that you could do. So we, we sat back and said, okay, look, the seniors aren't supposed to be going out, right? There's high risk of infection. So we said, what if we could get a bunch of younger folks together and kind of play a little bit of Robin Hood, right? Like, hey, if you've got surplus and you want to get it to an elderly person in need, we could connect those dots. And if you do it, we'll give you a T-shirt. And we had some T-shirts made and, and all that happy stuff. And it was good. I mean, it was good. We we got a little bit of community together. We had about 14 companies that all kind of jumped in and said, all right, let's go, let's go try and do this together. And what it enabled us to do was put positive light during a negative time. Right. That's right. Beautiful. So we did an online concert right here out of the studio and all kinds of different things that were like completely out of our comfort zone. We had never done it before. We, we made investments during this time. And even carrying into the business, you know, like our corporate dropped off, but all of our hobby has picked up because everybody's sitting at home. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, here's that car I haven't worked on in a year. Let me go work on that, right? Here's this gun I want to fix up. Let me go work on that. And, you know, it just it just shifted. Mm -hmm. And we just moved with the shift. Absolutely. But we continued to invest. Like constantly, like, you know, you walk in the back, but we've added more equipment. We've added, you know, additional people to come help. I mean, it's been... It's just been amazing. And much like you've experienced, we've had it, probably the best year we've ever had. We're up over 100% from last year. And it's great. I mean, and we're really excited about going into next year. I mean, here's one of the things you got to like keep my entrepreneurial podcast, right? What do you do when everybody is released? And it's mm. like, boom, we're back in. I mean, yeah. are you know, we're at the end of 2020, time for New Year's resolution, right? Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready? Because six to eight months from now, vaccines out, whether it works or not, people just die from the flu next year instead of Corona <laughs> this year. But in all seriousness, whatever it is, people that do concerts, that's right. all going back on. Yeah. Artists are going to be on tour, like constantly, mm -hmm. everywhere. Can't wait. Do you think there's going to be an empty seat in any house? No. Right. Any of these restaurants, you know, if 30% if of the restaurants went out of business, the other 70% are still there. And right. My prediction right now, like, they are going to have a banner, like, ridiculous, like, oh, my God, that never even happened type year. Yeah. Like, so what are you doing, like, to your audience, in the yeah. comments, like, list it out to prepare for that, right. you know, huge economic growth that's going to happen? Because the belt's been on. Yeah. And as soon as it comes loose. Yeah. It's, it's gonna like happen. releasing people from the straitjackets. <laughs> they got to right? go It's crazy. like you're free. Like you just got out of jail. Well, what is the first meal you're going to eat? Like where are you going? Who are you hanging out with? I'm actually you know? kind of getting excited having this conversation right, right now. How many people did you see a post <sighs> from that said, if the first five people that respond, we're going to go have a glass of wine. Well, yeah. That's like probably eight bottles of wine by now. You know? right, we got to right. hold people to their commitments. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm here to collect. <laughs> this is so good. So good. No, and I agree. I, I do. And I cannot 
honestly, I can't wait till we get back to some kind of like just normalcy. I think this is going to be one of those things where like I was, you know, even what you said, the VH1, I'm thinking about when they do those, you know, those videos, they talk the 90s, the 80s. This will be like, you know, the 2020. It'll just be the 2020. No 10 years, just the 2020. Right. The 2020. Because, yeah, it's just I, like yeah. a sci-fi. Yeah. No, <laughs> I thought, well. Our grandkids are going to be like, what happened? Be like, everyone lost their damn mind. Yeah. I watch sci-fi. That's what it was. Yeah, we feel like we're, no, I, I say that every day. <laughs> I'm like, I had a happy end. Right. <laughs> Like you, I feel like every day I wake up, I'm like, we're right in the middle of like 1984, you know, like, I, or something like, I feel like we're in a sci-fi every day. It's been such a crazy I wish year. I was so. 1984 right now. And there's some weird stuff going on. Like, yeah. I, like I was at the barbershop today, right? Mm-hmm. Thank you. And. <laughs> nice haircut, by the way. Thank you. Appreciate yes. that. Thanks for noticing. Um, there was a gentleman in there and, and he was talking with the barber and his, uh, his grandmother passed away. She had a stroke. Mm. And. He was going through all the death certificate stuff. They're classifying it as COVID. Mm, yeah. And he was pissed. I bet. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. You know, flu-related deaths are lowest they've ever been in right, the history of the flu. Right, Like, there's a lot of fishy stuff going on. Yeah. I am ready for this year to be over. Me too. I think we all share Everything that. gets classified as COVID. And it's unfortunate because one of the friends lost her husband. And there were underlying conditions like diabetes out of control, Person was on dialysis, pretty much getting food sores and everything else. So clearly, you are in no condition to fight any sorts mm-hmm. of infection. So, unfortunately, he passed away. And what was the thing? Died of COVID. No, mm-hmm. he died off of the complications that came with the disease that he contracted. Yeah, it's just. Yeah. I don't know. Everything is COVID. You come with the symptoms, you automatically COVID. You and came and it's the- been interesting, right? Because I mean, this was an election year. And we saw during that those 30 to 45 days, it just got kind of real quiet, right? Mm-hmm. All the focus was on mm-hmm. the, yeah. election. And then once they knew where things were kind of shuffling we're out, back to the COVID all again. the rhetoric picked right back up. Yeah. And then it's like, man, fascinating vaccine, like right after. Like, yeah. I'm like, wow. It's going to okay. be a dark winter. <laughs> it's, just, it's just really, <laughs> right? I mean, yeah. it's just really fascinating. Like, yeah. And it, it could be all happenstance. It's probably not. You know, like conspiracy theories on starter girls never happened before. Yeah. Not start now, right? Yeah. But it's be like, like that podcast just went dark. It's like 102. That <laughs> That's was what a, happens when you call Russian on it. It's like 102. <laughs> that was a doozy. <laughs> Russians know? did it. It's so awesome. No, this is Could all have good. Been anybody, you know? This is all it's good. Like, mm. So I want to expand on what you just said. So Uh-oh. when you ask that question about how you're going to like evolve, how you're going to deal you with can't that, throw that back at me. I'm going to throw that right back at you. Damn so it. going forward for you. What do you see happening, Scott, for you, like in your business, your world? What do you see happening? So we're expanding, and that, and that's the plan. So, you know, we've got our space. We want to make sure we maximize it to the fullest. Uh, producer Chris and I are working together a lot closer. We're partnering up. We're, we're going to merge our, our companies together. I love it. Because, you know, I've done a lot of the promotional marketing, mm-hmm. and that's fun. And, like, Amway and Mary Kay, and you all know somebody that mm-hmm. does promotional marketing so we want to be different yeah right like my whole thing's always been swim against the current that's the only way to get noticed you got a rebel over there well it's not even a rebel i'm just messing you got to do what everybody else isn't (laughs) doing right that's entrepreneurship right if you go do what everyone else is doing and follow the rules you read somebody's book that book they did it two years ago it took them a year to write the book and now you're following stuff that's two years old right use your head step outside the box look and see what's going on so what we're seeing, you know, this big boom, you know, we're going to be doing media events, you know, whether it be sales business meetings, whether it be concerts, you know, yeah. South by Southwest, whatever the case may be. But we're going to tie that in with everything else that we do. So lots of media companies went out. Ours didn't. Lots of promotional companies went out. Ours didn't. Yeah, we were because diversified. you learned to quit, no, swim against the current. I, I, versus... I swim against the current. So every web person that I went to that didn't feel I had enough time to do it was like, Scott, you got to focus. How many times do you hear that, right? Oh, yeah. You got to focus. You got to focus. One thing, focus. And I'm like, I can't. Like, I, I don't like to say no. And if I do, mm. know that it's really not possible, okay, or that I really don't want to work with it. But I, I just want to do cool stuff. I want to have fun. You know, I, I left my corporate job this year. This is all 100% full-time now. Where the energy goes, 
the money flows. Yeah, I mean, well, it's, it's 100%. like, you know. You're in the room with three people that like to be creative right now. <laughs> right. But, but, but that's the thing. Like, yeah. if you could go in, like, yeah. how overwhelmed are these marketing departments that just cut yeah. half their staff going to be mm-hmm. when they've got to go put on an event? Right. And how awesome is it going to be when we could come in and say, hey, we could turnkey this for you, or you could eat as much or as little as you want, leave the leftovers, take the leftovers, whatever the case may be. And in addition to that, like our lack of focus but prior is what saved our tail yeah. during all this. Because if I was just focused on corporate, I wouldn't have had my hobbyists. I wouldn't have mm-hmm. had my automotive markets. I wouldn't have had my firearm markets. Right. None of that would have existed. Right. We'd have just been sitting here like, what the heck do we do? It's good. All of your eggs in one yeah. basket. You, you, yeah. you, you can. And it's it's just, it's the hustle. It's the entrepreneurial mindset. Not everybody has it. You, you can train to do it. I mean, one of the things that I, I like to tell people when I speak is get a side hustle. Like if you're sitting there like, man, like, great. You know, Scott's crushing it. You know, he's bragging that he did 100% this year. Her business is up. Jennifer's doing fantastic. Get a side hustle. Like it's the absolute quickest, fastest way to learn everything that you don't know about stuff that you don't know. Yeah. Right. True. So if you're in technology and you're sitting there and you're like, man, like, you know, go start doing a podcast. Just talk about something. You know, you'll learn about the media, the cameras, the microphones, editing, graphics, design, promotional, accounting, like all that, that, that clips in. And your network expands exponentially. Right. And side hustles, they're, they're usually things that you're passionate about. Mm-hmm. So like, if you're really good at changing brakes, like go change brakes. Hang a shingle, tell people you change brakes, go to them, come to you, figure out what the difference is, right? It's How do good. you make it easy? Like yeah. I, I was, I was talking with a buddy, he runs a body shop, you know, not, not, not the fragrance place, the body shop, but a collision center. I kind of right? figured that. Right. <laughs> Unless you have another side hustle. No, we don't I, know but about. I know your audience. So I want to make sure <laughs> that, know, you know, we're, know. we're on the same page. Yeah. And he's like, you know, I got to put a marketing plan together and, you know, these guys are going to do Facebook ads for me for 300 bucks a month. I'm like, well, what are they marketing? He's like, I don't know. They just said they're going to take care of it. I'm like, wrong company. He's like, what do you mean? And I said, anyone that's just telling you, hey, here's how much it's going to cost without scoping it and knowing what it is that you're trying to achieve. Yeah. It's just not doing you any favors. Money in the wind. I go, how many times do you go on Facebook and say, hey, I need a good collision center. I just wrecked my car versus going to Google. I said, I'd put it into AdWords. Like That just makes a lot more sense yeah. to me, right? Just number one. Number two, who are you trying to get in? Number three, what kind of experience can you? How, do, how could you swim? Against the current, I'm like, can you, can you create a service like Carvana, right? Carvana, mm-hmm. you familiar? Mm-hmm. Carvana swim against the current. They said, you don't got to come to us. We'll come to you. Go look online, pick out what you like. We'll bring it to you. If you don't like it, send it back. No harm, no foul. If you do, you buy it, sign the paperwork, you have a new mm, car. You never step yeah. foot in a dealership, right? Yeah. So if you wreck your car, how cool would it be to have a Carvana style model right. where they come to you, they drop off your rental car, they pick up your other car, they give you your Absolutely. quote, they, yeah. they they leave, they come back, they drop. I mean, how cool would that be? Right. Like as, as a as a woman, right, or as a person that's not a, a car person, yeah. How cool would that be? Yes. Right. And then if you did have to go down there to have a coffee bar or something where it's just yeah. a little more comfortable, a leather couch, you right, know, right. not the, you know, junky little 22 inch television that's been up there in the corner for eight years, you know, like, like, how do you develop that, that client experience, that client dependency that, Hey, you know what? It sucks that you wrecked your car, but these guys, man, they'll come pick it up for you. They'll drop it back off. Da, 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 you know? Yeah. And that's when, and Bring that's me what some I mean ice by, cream. Yeah. And that's what I mean by swimming against the current, you know, like just, you got to try to see how to do things different. And I think yeah. going into 2021, you know, it's not working. You know, who failed, you know, why they failed, you know, don't do what they did. Right. Pick up and try a new direction. That's good. It's good. Thinking outside the box. I want to know right. where you're, what you're like big, like what you're thinking, big picture, where are you going with everything with this podcast you're doing this, as real as they come Dallas and all the stuff you're creating. I don't know. I'm like an Alice in Wonderland, really. I love that. <laughs> you, you never know where it's going to take you. Yeah. And I'm just with my sail up and whatever, wherever it takes me, I'm just ready to embrace it and go with it. So I want to talk about some holiday stuff because I don't know about you guys, but this is You mean is the been, holidays that just happened? They, they, we're in them. We're kind of in them right now. <laughs> but I, I don't know about you guys, but this has been like sort of, I've, I've had such a hard time like really getting into that zone because I feel like we've been like home like so much that like we want to be out. So, you know, normally this time of year, we're all really like 
looking forward to just settling down because we've got all these Christmas parties and work parties, all these things going on, right? We're not really having that this year. So it's been kind of a yes. different mindset. But what I want to know from you guys is what are you doing for this? I mean, are you doing anything different or what are you doing for the holidays? How are you celebrating? I'm working. You're working? So that, you know, as as one of Santa's certified workshop helper companies, we've got to make sure that everybody gets their gifts. Yeah. So, hey, that's good. You know, for us... Our holiday starts on December 26th, usually. It's good. So that's we'll awesome. see what happens. Hopefully that's not the case this year, but we're, we're just taking it easy. Yeah. I love it. What about you, Yulia? It's been hard to get in the Christmas spirit, to be honest. I'm like, I'm just wearing red today. I'm trying to psych myself up. I like your shirt, by the way. Well, thank you. And um, You're working it. But we actually started a home remodel, believe it or not. I really want to get out of zip code. And just go somewhere to the nature. Yeah. I want to take my family somewhere where we can just relax, open the doors, and see the God's country. That's where I'd like to be because I'm so tired of all the commercial aspect of that. Then you go into trying to buy gifts and you got to wear the mask and then you got to stand in the little line and it's like Soviet Union all over again. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, we're going out. We're going out of town. <laughs> we're going out of town. We're going out of town. I don't know if we're doing anything. I think I'm going to be like, you know what? I'm just going to take it easy, I think, and just keep doing my thing. You know? You should. Keep just yeah. working on what I'm doing with Startup. Get you some Glen Twain and yeah. just embrace Pearl the year up. for what it is. And just, you embrace know, the year for what let it Christmas is. go with, you know, 2020. And, you know, we'll just have, We're all going to be like, bring us 2021. But I don't know if the start's going to be much better quite yet. So we'll have to wait. We'll have to see. It'll, so, But it'll still not be 2020. So that'll amen, be a Amen. Be a plus. Amen. Plus this, one. Okay. <laughs> plus one. <laughs> plus one. Plus one. Plus one a year. Okay. So what are you looking forward to in 2021? What are you looking forward to? Anything? I don't know. All don't kinds know? of things, actually. Yeah. You got a lot of big stuff going on. Yeah. Same stuff I was looking forward to this year, just executing it next year. Executing. That's a good word, executing. What about you, Yulia? Um, just, I'm a true believer that just it's got to get better from here on. So I I can't even imagine what's going to come my way. I thought I knew what was going to happen in 2020. Yeah, but, you didn't. but 2021, I have a feeling it's going to be a great time. And granted, this year, it was really a purging year. And I don't know if you're into astrology or not. We mm -hmm. had so many eclipses. We had so many retrograde planets that everything that did happen was kind of natural. Mm -hmm. And 2021 is starting a whole new cycle for all of us. And mindset, what mindset you Thank go you. in into the new year, that's where it's going to take you. Yeah. If you walk in out of lack and you're going to think, the world is against you, then the world will be against you. If you walk in and say your world takes care of you, that's what yeah. I said. Yeah. Get psyched up. All right. Yeah. I'm going to ask y'all some fun rapid fire questions. Oh, and these Lord. are going to be like, not my normal rapid fires. These are going to be fun. Okay. That's how you know we're really bored to death. <laughs> yeah. No, you did it. This was just, really? this was just a very <laughs> interesting yeah, show. Fire, no, everybody like, knows oh. that if you're a He's snoozer. He's going to start throwing stuff at us. <laughs> if you're a snoozer, rapid fire comes hey, up really uh, yeah. <laughs> No, I do rapid fire on every, every, every listen, <laughs> in all fairness, I do rapid fire on every show. So I'm just, but I got, I'm going to do some fun ones. Okay. okay. So this is going to be, you guys are going to have to think because you have no idea what these are going to be. Oh my. So what's, as a kid, as a kid, what is one Christmas present that you remember getting that was like like the bomb present was like probably the coolest present like I have one so for me it was Hanukkah okay and it was an Iowa radio hmm. remember Iowa A-I-W-A yes I do I had a I had a cassette player yes <laughs> <Dumpster> <laughs> <fire. laughs> This is so awesome this is so awesome okay this is great this is great I know like we warm our hands up okay what about you well, in, in Russia, we typically give each other gifts on New Year's, okay. not Christmas. Mm, I like that. And it's usually, we used to be like candy, and um, it's never been anything like out of the ordinary. But so what yeah. you're saying is there was a favorite candy. Favorite candy. Candy, candy. I always thought that Santa Claus used to come through the little opening in the window, and yeah. because we didn't have chimney or any of that. And it was Diet Maros, and it usually was candy. And um, 
I guess I never really paid attention to what was under the tree. It's more like the experience of experience. waking up and just eating chocolate. Eating chocolate and being happy. Yeah. I didn't get chocolate. But I have, I, I think I got all kinds. So when I was growing up, I always got presents from my mom. We'd buy stuff and then my dad would get me things. Like he would get me things like Chris probably remembers creepy crawlies. Do you remember, remember those, Chris? Him. You remember? Okay, it was like you had to pour this goop in this like little oven thing, and it'd make these rubbery like little critters, like butterflies and spiders. So then one year, my dad got me this robot. I think it was named Marzon. Chris could probably find it on the internet, but it was a robot, an inflatable like robot that would walk. And I thought it was like the coolest thing ever. It was like a boy toy. Like I got, remember, remember Hot Wheels, like the or the little the little things yeah. that you pedal. Like I got a boy Hot Wheel. Yeah, so your dad was buying you stuff that he wanted to play with. Exactly yes. for me, and I thought it was pretty cool. So I, I got That's all awesome. these like. Really cool Sounds toys. like it backfired on him. <laughs> yeah, I know because I liked it. I was like, I had this like blue Hot Wheel thing. My sister had this cute little purple thing with yellow flowers and little tassels hanging out, and I had like a Hot Wheel. I was like, wow. okay, this was great. Okay, it's your so, personality great. It does like, kind of fit oh. my personality. Does I think about that now? I'm like, it was that Hot Wheel. It did it to me. It made me who I am today. Well, I can have the same problems. <laughs> And here uh, I am with my chocolate. Okay, as, okay. So <laughs> here's another fun one. When you were a kid, this is another fun rapid fire. When you were kids, I'm still a kid. Okay, so how did you celebrate the holiday? Did you get with all your family, like like grandmas, grandpas, that kind of thing? So, growing up in New York, a lot of it was just kind of neighborhoods and friends. So, okay. my grandparents, you know, took off down to Florida. Uh, we, we were in New York, and. You know, grew up in an Italian neighborhood, and we were almost always invited over to somebody's house. And you know, we'd go over Christmas Eve, and then we'd go home, and then you know, the Fun. next day we'd go out and you know enjoy dinner with them, or like yeah. in formal Jewish tradition, go to a Chinese restaurant and sneak into movies on Christmas Day. I mean, that that that's a real thing, you know. Start thinking Christmas story. I'm sorry. Right? Yeah. yeah that, we've done stuff like that. I mean, it's awesome. What about you, Yulia? Would you, how did you celebrate? Um, Christmas. So. Growing up in Russia, our Christmas was like New Year's when we give gifts, but Christmas is actually was January 7th. Mm. And I remember we used to light up candles, sit down, so we would never exchange presents or anything for Christmas in particular. But we will cherish that moment with the prayer and uh, nice dinner. Usually that's a family one because New Year's Eve, that's when the whole hell breaks loose and huge celebration. But... Yeah, but now we celebrate everything. So it's like December through February is just nonstop. Gotcha. All right. Is this the inflatable robot? Um, no, it didn't quite look like it's similar to that, but it was white. He's gonna bring it up on there. We're gonna have this by the time this show is over. Which you better hurry because I'm gonna wrap them up here. Pretty okay. So, so one how more about for you. For me, we well we yeah Christmas. Uh, God, Christmas as a kid for me was like huge. Like I miss it. I seriously miss it. And I'm gonna ask you the next question in a minute. So let me forget. But we did, we always had Christmas Eve, like my mom's parents would come over and my aunt and uncle. And so we always had, my sister and I always had these matching Christmas pajamas that my mom would buy us. And they would come over and sometimes we would go to church at night. But I just remember being a kid and we'd be like, we got to be in bed at like 830 because Santa was coming. And my family would still be over, but we would be in bed trying to go to sleep because my mom was a badass Santa Claus. Like she was the bomb when it was San for Santa Claus. And then we'd get up the next morning and, you know, have to open all our presents. We'd be in there like five o'clock in the morning trying to get my parents out of bed and they'd be Wait a sleeping. Your mom was Santa Claus? Yeah, she was the best Santa Claus ever. Oh. Which is going to lead me to my next question. How many times? I'm not going there, Chris. <laughs> I, be, I'm going to be like, it's going to lead me to my next question. But then we would spend the day with my other grandmother, which so we, we was like a big, I mean, big thing, which is so weird because we're so low key now, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it's just, it, I miss all that kind of stuff, you know. But I did want to ask you another question, and this is going to lead to that Santa Claus. Did because, you want to ask me another question? Yes, I did. How long do you believe in Santa Claus? Not very long. Not very long. What about you? I still believe in Santa. You are so cute. Okay, so listen. This is I got two stories to tell you, and this is why this is funny. Because I was like, my mom was so freaking good. Like, she was a tooth fairy, the Easter. My mom was so good. Like, I was like almost 11 years old before I found out, and I was so pissed when I found out. I was so mad at her when she told me. I did not want to know. Like, I was so mad when she told me. But here's the other funny story. Mom, so, we're just going to pretend you didn't say that. Oh, I was so mad, Scott. Like, I was so mad about it. Like, I just did not want that. Because to me, you know, I'm a visionary. Like, I'm a dreamer. Like, that was like, right. 
huge for me. Like, she was so good. And you know what's so funny? Go ahead. What were you going to well, say? Well, I was going to tell, like, when my daughter found out, which was very recent, and she's 13, she's like, Mom, I know you're doing all this. Mm -hmm. I'm like, well, here's the thing. I'm like, Santa Claus does exist, but it's just inside of you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, it's a spiritual holiday. Santa Claus is your giving spirit. And the older you get, the more you're going to take joy in giving versus receiving. Right. And you just have to believe that. And when you put the smile on someone's face, this is Santa Claus in you, making yeah. the world a better place. You're a much nicer mom than wow. I was. My kids, <laughs> here's so funny. That's so intense. my kids found out very early on, like all three of mine did, because this is what they would do. They'd go in my closet and they'd see the gifts in the closet. And then I'd wrap them and they'd be like, how did Santa Claus bring these? I saw them in your closet. I'm like, because I bought them for Santa Claus and he just wrapped them and put them under the tree. I like, I like what Julia said, like, Chris, Chris ain't Santa Claus. We we all ate him. He's <laughs> in us. Uh, it's so good. But you, to add to that, you know, when my kids found out, you know, like this was funny because like when the tooth fairy would happen, like I just had this conversation with my son the other day because he, they all knew and we put, they played this, they, they played this out so well. My son would come into my room and he'd be like, mom, my tooth has been under the bed for two days. Can you email the tooth fairy, please, and tell her to come pick it up? And I'm like, oh, man, I forgot to email the tooth fairy. <laughs> yeah, we had a similar situation, but that was the time when we let them know what was up and we just gave them some money. Yeah. Well, that's eventually what happened. But it, but it was so funny because it was like, you know, my kids, like, they found, and we would be like, I'd be like, no, those are not, that, Santa Claus just had me buy those presents. We're going to wrap them. He's putting them under there. So, yeah, it's just <laughs> funny things. It's so different, I think. Now, I miss, like, I just kind of miss those days when we were, like, kind of innocent and didn't know all that stuff, you know? Yeah. So it makes it all good. This has been fun. It's been interesting. Okay, so any final words, Scott, you want to part on this show for my listeners going into 2021? I, I just want to wish everyone the best of success going into 2021. Your only restriction, the only thing holding you back is your mind. Push through, make it happen. That's good. You don't gotta follow that one up. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Cool. Let your inner Santa out. Yes, My yes, inner Santa. inner Santa. Jingle bells. Um, <laughs> I want to first of all thank you for inviting me to your podcast. This is such a great time. We talked about wonderful things, and for the listeners and viewers, I would like to say, don't forget. Your loved ones, I know a lot of people still hibernating, but call them, check on them, make sure they're okay, because especially during Christmas season, a lot of people just either get very happy or very depressed. It depends on where they are at that time. So don't let yourself get depressed. Don't let your friends get depressed and just make this the best year yet and just set your mind on winning. Look at this fun photo up there. I Such like an it. awesomeness. So I want to say to our listeners a couple of things. One, I want to say thank you so much for supporting Starter Girls. I want to thank Chris back there who does our camera because he does an amazing job. And Scott for this amazing setup. My friend Yulia for kind of being the creative little other side. And uh, to our listeners, just thank you for supporting us, being our fans and Hanging out with us on this podcast. Hang on, and hang on. Are you making your special announcement right now? I'm not or? telling him everything. I'm getting there, okay, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Just yeah. checking. I'm making not sure telling it all. I'm not telling him yet. We got to layer that, but we do. We have a big announcement coming in January, and so definitely you're going to want to tune in after the first of the year, find out what we're going to be doing. But I will tell you this. You're going to be seeing more of us out behind the studio. Really, um, I think, kind of the authentic side, seeing us more in action as people outside of the studio. And so... With that, I do want to say, if you enjoy our podcast, please be sure you give us a rating on iTunes. And, of course, check us out on Amazon and iHeart. And hit that subscribe button on the YouTube. And I got to always leave a couple final thoughts, right? We got to finish this out. All right. Move out of your comfort zone. You can only grow if you're willing to feel awkward and uncomfortable when you try something new. And that is by Brian Tracy. And remember that in order to have success, you must start. And that start begins with a decision. All right, you guys take care, be safe, happy new year, Merry Christmas, and we will see you in 2021. Signing out. <laughs> Great job. Yeah. Gonna have it. I'll just call you Amy. That's good. I like that. I can remember that. You're j -Lo. Yeah, See? It works. Exactly. It works. All right. We ready? And so what I love about it is it offers the opportunity on a daily basis for me to practice connection and vulnerability. Um, you know, and I just think that that is something that this world needs so much more of. 
what I say is find the thing that makes your heart sing and you'll be happier and healthier. Amen. You know, for example, if you, I write, I write about this in my book. If you feel like something is missing in your life and you want to have a different job or career, or maybe you're pushed into that situation because of the current economic climate, um, maybe the, think about those things that resonate with you that you might be gifted and talented in. And if I can offer any one piece of advice to anybody listening uh, in terms of health and wellness, it's that the number one most important thing that you can do in your life beyond uh, or before going out and searching for anything external is first work on the internal. Self-care is the absolute by far most important thing that you can do for yourself. And you know, I'm a big coffee uh, like coffee. Used to be my boyfriend. Like, oh, I love the way he smells. I love everything about him. I love, my- I love coffee. I love the entire experience. It's my moment it's of so me, awesome. right? So I love it. It's a, it's one of my treats that I give myself to kind of transition from my achieving day and then I transition into my reflective day. I'm gonna die without somebody to talk to. And I'm not even that much of a talker when it comes right down to it, but I think that if I didn't have at least one other person to like say hello to, like my husband, who's super introverted, you know, hey Jeremy, we talk like 20 minutes a day tops because like, (laughs) but we like wander in and out of room. I'm like- If you can't come to grips with how stupid you sound sometimes, then this isn't for you because it's right. going to happen. It's exactly. Happen. Exactly. No, it happens. Yeah. Take me down the road that I've been given. Burning vain peaks of broken dreams. Lately, I've been snooping around for meaning breaking ground to grow the things I need said sunshine rain is done yeah it's all the same blessings always come rearranged sunshine rain is done solid sweet or plain oh the blessings always come Rearrange, yeah, to do. Dum bum 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 bum. Oh yeah, here they come. They're never willing to be vulnerable. You yeah. know, they want to live in that safe space because they're afraid of failure and they're afraid of being judged. But you miss so many incredible opportunities when it's you boring. stay in that box. Even it's boring, right? Like, Absolutely. Just, let's just be comfortable. Yeah. No. Nah, no. Let's just like. You know, right? No, How do you leave your don't legacy? be comfortable. Yes, uh, yes. say no, thank you. Com- comfortability. Com- what do you call it? Like, whatever it is, whatever. Yes. Embrace discomfort. Yes. Right. <laughs>